Hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial on how to charge an iPod with an iPod. Um, this video is designed more to eliminate any doubt or questions anyone might have about this method. Um, I posted a, an update to the first video I posted a while back now, uh, just showing you that it still works two years later. Um, and as long as you use the right equipment and accessories and stuff, this method does work. Um, so let's just get started right away here. So the first thing obviously you'll need is the iPod photo connector. This is what transfers the USB power to another iPod um, via an iPod video. I have three here. Not all three of them are mine. Uh, this one is mine. And I used this one in the original video and the update. Um, so the iPod photo connector, they sold these a couple of years ago and I don't know where you might be able to find them. You might be able to find them on eBay um, or Amazon or something like that, but I don't think they sell these anymore. So if you can get one of these or if you already have one, perfect. If not, um, good luck finding them. Second thing you'll need is the old style iPod 36 pin or 38 pin connector, um, the one with the little buttons on the sides. The new ones, the skinny ones like this one, do not work. Um, and I will show you how they, I'll, I'll just compare the two cables right now. So first of all, you need to connect the photo connector to an iPod video slash photo. So this can plug into any of these three. I'll plug it into the black one, just because I'm not racist. Okay, so it's plugged in. It says no card inserted. So it's plugged in. Okay, then you take your uh, cable, plug it in. Um, and I know I had some issues with trying to do this one-handed last time, but I'm holding a camera so I can't really use both hands. Okay, so just to show you, it is one cable. It's not connected to a computer or anything. So that's the cable we want to use. Sorry, just need to adjust this a bit. Now, I will show you why I have these iPod touches here in a minute. So basically, the only way you can tell it's charging is if you plug it into another iPod video or if you have an older iPod touch or uh, sorry not touch iPod shuffle um, it will have a little blinking light and I showed that in the original video you can check it out here if you want um, basically as soon as the screen light turns off that's when the charging um, icon will appear so you can see it's got the little I'll try and focus in on it um, it's got the little lightning bolt that says it's charging and it's connected straight to this iPod. These two are connected, as you can see here, connected. So on this iPod, it'll say it's an unsupported device, which basically means you can't transfer pictures. That's what this thing is designed for, is to transfer pictures. But since USB also transfers power, it leaches power from the connected device to the other one. So it still works as long as you use this cable. Now I'll show you what happens if you use the new cable. Brother. Here we go again. Sorry that the I'm um, the shots here are probably very poor. Okay, so new cable plugged in there. Plug it in here. And it still says unsupported device here. Unsupported device. Oh, and look at that. It does work. So ignore what I said earlier about the old style cables. The new ones work which is fortunate because I didn't know that. 
Hey, we all learn some new stuff. Now, people, a lot of people have been asking me, does it work with an iPod Touch? And to tell you honestly, I'm not sure. Um, I had tried it before, and there is no indicator to show that it does work. So, if it does, it just doesn't show it. But, I mean, I'll, I'll show you with this. This one is dead. It's got no battery power left. I, I can't turn it on. And unfortunately, the touch screen on this doesn't work, so I can't. I can't uh, do much with this iPod. The other two, however, do have battery life. So this one says it's plugged into a power source because it's got the power thing, and it's plugged into this iPod. It says un unsupported device. Now. The only way I could tell, possibly, that this does work is if eventually this screen turns on to the home screen, the slide lock screen, and this battery life depletes fast. So I think I'm just going to wait here and see what happens. Um, and hopefully it does work, because that means then you can charge an iPod Touch with an iPod Video. Okay, so it just switched to uh, no card inserted and now it says ready to connect. So that's not a good sign. I'm just waiting here to see if anything else happens. I'll try rebooting this iPod Touch. Thing is happening. So, in conclusion, I think that iPod Touches will not charge from this just because they have a different uh, they have different software and whatnot, and they just won't connect. They won't take power from whatever it's plugged into unless it recognizes what it's plugged into. So that answers that question and these can go away. So there you have it. You can connect iPod videos, old iPod shuffles, the little button ones, uh, old iPod nanos possibly, um, iPod photos. That's about it. So, I don't know what you'd use this for, but I hope you found it somewhat useful. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, all that good stuff, and I will see you all later. Bye.